You're watching FIFA Predicts, predicting the big games in the football world via the medium of FIFA 20 computer versus computer. Today it's the Manchester Derby and with me is former professional footballer turned current pundit Ian Five Ankles. Current pundit. <laughs> we didn't agree to that. Yeah, but it's just a Can thing. someone remove his tea cake and oh, we'll begin come again? On. Ian, the Manchester Derby, confusingly in the same week as Manchester versus Derby. Yes, to differentiate it, they're calling this one El Manquico. Mm. It's always a fantastic occasion. The sound of the chanting, the smell of the fear from the United supporters. It's all to play for. If Man United win this, they could get a Europa League place. If Man City win this, their players, they're still going for the Champions League, just not with their current club. Yes, they'll be hoping to get a transfer to one of the teams across Europe who play by the rules. Phil Foden, what a talent. Oh, what a talent. What a special talent. What a 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 talent. Will he play? No. The game began with an assault on the City goal. Pep Guardiola, he's vowed to install competition winners in every position. It just so happens that his defence are full of crossword competition winners in the local newspaper. Edison there, the goalkeeper, with all the boldness you'd expect from a man who has a giant tattoo on his neck. It is important that Agallo has early tame chances like that, Anthony. He, mm. he believes the goals are set up differently each time. So these are range finders. He mm. likes to test out where the goals are by not scoring early chances. Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne had a dangerous free kick outside the area. Now, they employed one of the most ambitious set-piece routines we've seen in the Premier League. Gundogan literally appearing as if by magic next yeah. to him. I mean, magician David Copperfield has been working on the training ground with them for a few weeks now and it's finally paying dividends. Yes, Gundogan was initially fearful of getting involved in these things, but once Copperfield had explained it's all done with mirrors, Gundogan was bang into it. Otamendi sawed John Stones in half mm. in the pre-match build-up um, so that there were two John Stones waddling about the penalty area defending corners. Why haven't they tried that in a game yet? I think Pep Guardiola is waiting to be convinced that having two John Stones is going to be an advantage. But it was United who got their noses in front like a competitively mendacious Pinocchio. Igalo has found his range and he's delivered there. They call him the postman of Old Trafford, always on time, feeding that parcel of the ball through the goalie letterbox. And if no one's in, He'll leave it in a secure location. Let's hope he doesn't go down the path of every single Man United signing in the last five years, Ian. This new United arrival, he's been eagerly anticipated. He's top class, isn't he? He's oh, he's top class. class. He's top, 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 top class. He's a top, 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 top player. I'm surprised they haven't renamed the stadium after him. United's new arrival, he's been here six months. He's not good enough, Ian. No, no, he's the scapegoat for a reason. He's bang average. He's never been good enough. The best thing they can do with him is to loan him out, take the financial hit, and then bury all his shirts in the desert in Nevada mm. so he never accidentally plays for the club again. Yeah, yeah, the manager's got to get some new players in. He needs some top, top, world-class players. World-class players like this new arrival. And then it was two lovely close interpassing mm. between the players. That's the United way, isn't it, Ian? Well, close interpassing is also the city. Way. And it's the Liverpool yeah. way and the Barcelona way because they invented passing. Yeah, so we're sort of saying that these two sides are playing football the, the footballing way. City's defence unlocked like a safe made out of salt and vinegar rice cakes. Wambasaka's simply too strong for Edison who walked around afterwards with a football-sized hole in his stomach. Yeah, it's like he went see-through and if you learn one thing at goalkeeper college it's don't go all see-through. I mean that's day one. But City, they were bold enough to muster up an attack. Kevin De Bruyne, he bamboozled the defence, he turned them inside out. Yeah, he boom basled them. Aguero, should we just call him a hero? After all, he's that quick. Yeah, he's not a hare though, Anthony, because hares fall asleep and lose races to tortoises. I don't see Aguero having a kip under a tree and letting Harry Maguire beat him for pace. And there was somewhat of an inevitability about the equaliser here. Aguero nipping in quicker than a, an old lady on a mobility scooter in front of an articulated lorry. A draw is no good for either team, Ian. No, both teams would be very disappointed. Manchester United's fans especially, they're asking questions of their team's performances these days. Questions like, is this nearly finished? And where's the exit? I need to go home. So 2-2 two, two it finished. Now competition time. Predict the score of the real game in the comments section below. Get it right and you'll win these anti-Arsenal ear defenders. And congratulations to last time's winners. Your winners are these winners. See you next time on FIFA Predicts. Bye. Bye. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.